So uh, this is the uh, solution for the problem board ladder two on lead code. It's marked hard, but I'm going to present an easy solution in Python three. Let's first dive into the, what the problem asks, understand what's it about. First, we'll start from big inward, which is given to us, and we'll want to end it inward. We want to transition from this big inward all the way up till inward by using intermediate words in between. These intermediate words we are getting from the list, word list. Okay, there are two conditions now you need to follow. First is the condition that between each of these words, from one word to another, when we transition, there is only one character difference that is allowed. Ordering cannot be changed, but the one character can be swapped out for another. Let's look at an example quickly. Uh, in the case we look at hot and hit, you can see that from hit to hot, there's one character that is being changed from I to O. And that creates the new word. From again hot to dot, what changes? The H to D changes and now we have the new word dot. So on and so forth, we can do forever till we reach the end word. Okay, but uh, there is another condition to it. The path that you take from start to the end has to be the shortest possible. There could be multiple, of course, but you can't take a longer path to the end. You always, always have to take the shortest one. Okay, so let's talk about the solution now. We're going to be using something called queues. And these are our data structures which follow the ordering of first in, first out. You are in a sort of fast food line. You come in first, you get your burger first. You come in second, you get your burger in the second, so on and so forth. Okay, now uh, let's talk about the actual algorithm we're going to be using. First, we'll start off with the word hit, which is the begin word. The goal is to reach cog, which is the end word. Okay, what do we do now? Uh, we'll take the first word in the queue. We'll take the first person who's giving his order and we'll remove him. We'll complete his orders, sort of, and uh, we'll remove it. And so it becomes like so. But we'll also include some of his friends. Some of his friends being the friends with the property that they have one character difference from the original person. In this case, it's just hot, only one thing. Cool. Now that we have hot in the queue, uh, hit is removed. Hot, hot is being served right now. Who all do, uh, uh, or should I say, who all friends does hot have? I don't know, my English is very bad, don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so hot has the friends dot and lot. Cool, because they both have one character difference, H2D and H2L. So the board get to be in the list. And we do this again and again. Uh, you can follow the dry run here till you reach cog. Cog is where you reach here and you will say, okay, great. I have an answer. But also note that in this run, we have two cogs coming in. We'll have cog coming up twice. And that's because there are two answers to this. Look at the solution above in the output line. There are two different solutions, both with the shortest path, both following all the properties. Okay, cool. So let's now jump into the actual solution. We need a queue, of course, and I have the import queue at the very beginning. So we'll create a new queue. If you don't pass it any parameter, it becomes a queue of infinite length. You can have as many characters as you want in between. Uh, there's a small edit to the algorithm, to the dry run I mentioned. I'm not actually going to store the words because the question does not ask for how many paths there are. We could just return two here, it's easier. But the question asks for paths instead, complete paths from start to the end. So we need to store the paths. Let's store the path. We'll have it as a list. Obviously, the uh, the beginning is still just the begin word itself. But we'll be storing lists in here and that's important. And we'll do this uh, till the queue is empty. So while the queue is not empty, uh, do some computation. At the end, we want to have a list of all of these paths and we'll 
can't type okay and we'll read the answer here okay uh, so what computation are we doing first of all uh, whoever is first in the queue let's serve that guy so q dot get is the function we'll use and we'll get path from it cool uh, now path itself is not relevant up till the very end but the word it has at the very end is relevant because this is what is being shown here let's extract the last word cool now we want to know hey, if the word is the end word what would happen in that case in that case we have found a successful path for the answer so answer dot append path we have a small edit here uh, later on this is not always the case because we do need to handle if there are longer paths to this we'll handle it later we'll come back to it later for now let's say this is gold cool now we have the path and the word what do we need to know next in this case we serve this dot guy uh now who are his friends uh a lot and dog are in the queue or actually let's take this example which is better hot has the friends uh, dot and lot so we'll put them in the queue which means that we need to iterate over all of its friends so for uh, let's just call it word uh, for w and self dot friends we'll write a function later on get friends uh, and that will get you the list of friends for the last word okay uh what do you do then you add it to the queue q dot put and w great this is almost all we need one more thing that we need to keep in mind is that uh, see hot has the friends hit as well we don't have want to consider hit again because if we put hit again in the queue it will start the entire thing over and over again putting us into an infinite loop which is not what we want so we'll also check hey is the word if word in word list if it is in word list please remove it i don't want it uh you can think about why i'm putting this if condition and not directly just putting this as is it's a interesting thing cool anyways this is mostly done so now let's write the function get friends cool so what do we need we need a word here and we also need to know okay friends can't be just any words they have to be friends from the given list word list now passing it in a function again and again is a bit of a mess so so let's just put it as is word list good uh what do you do now you want to say okay return me a list of word or word w for w and words self dot word list but do you want to return all the friends or just the friends of this word don't want all the characters if you want to return me the friends the friends which are valid and which satisfy the property of being one character difference from the original word if self dot valid word and w okay uh, so now let's go write the self dot valid function this should return a list of friends uh, so let's write valid self x or let's call it x and y and we want to find if both of these strings have one character difference between them let's have a variable that stores the difference and we'll iterate over both of these together so i want to zip both of them we know obviously that both of them are of the same length so it's not an issue we have x here we have y here and we have i and j as so and so we'll compare each of these elements like this if i is not equal to j then we have a problem we have a difference which is not actually a problem it's only a problem if difference is greater than 
which we don't want. Actually, let's return true if difference is one, else return false. Cool. Uh, this should pretty much do it. I'm hoping it works in the first try. Usually doesn't, but let's see. Okay, I've probably taken it. No, I've never uh, appended it to the path actually. And it should not happen. Time limit exceeded. Cool, we'll fix this. First of all, I don't want path actually. I want path here, but I want uh, that edit is remaining. I want path dot copy. I actually don't want to send the path itself. Python has this thing where it will pass by reference or something by name instead. And we actually want to send copies instead. So we'll do this. We'll take whatever the path up till we had and then we'll add the new word. So then send it. Okay. Mm. What else went wrong? Okay, I have no idea. Let's try this again. Okay, cool. So we do have this issue coming up, which is what? It's taken a longer path. Look at these sizes. How do you fix that? Uh, we don't always append a path. We only append if it's the shortest one or not. So let's say if length of ants is not there, which means it's an empty array. Just go ahead and append this for me. Good. That's not an issue. Or in the case that length of uh, answer exists, which means that it is already a valid array, uh, get me something. Uh, and I want to know what's the latest path you have inserted. And I want to know its length. Once I have its length, I would compare it with the current length of the path. Only if the length of path is less than equals to what you have seen in the answer, then it's fine. Okay, let's uh, complete this and this should do it. Cool. Accepted. Uh, I'm, by the way, preparing you with not a very good uh, runtime or memory but it works good so yeah 1.2 seconds uh, there is a way to improve upon this i've written it in my uh, discussion blog here i'll uh, put the link here uh because i'm uh, too lazy to teach it right now cool that's all bye bye